You're listening to Oral Stories. Upper River, Episode 4, Mines slash Heidelberg. Ladies and gentlemen of the Liebes Food, the second round of breakfast cheese is officially open. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And not just about the Gruyere. Oh, lady, I need a story right now and a massive cup of coffee. Best friend Dan? On it. Thank you. Pouring is my honor. Mmm, coffee. You'll never leave me. What? Just tell me about last night. Well, as you know, I did your tour. I recall. Thank you. Captain Dalton was there and we wound up sort of tag teaming each other. In front of everyone? Not like that, but it was. Yes. Fun? Yes. So, afterwards, I went to his cabin and dropped off my spare copy of The Hero and the Heroine, and he loved it. I've given that man at least seven copies, and he calls them his coaster collection. It was so romantic. It was like the scene where Adeline first confesses her love to Abelard, and they're so passionate they almost tear each other apart. And that's why they call it a poop deck. Oh, yes, the glory of the vast vessel of the sea. You're turned on by a poop deck joke? No, by his knowledge of ships. Whatever floats your boat. hey I know you can do better. You're right. I apologize. Long story short, we're going on an actual date this afternoon. Since we're docked here overnight, he has the day off. I was wondering, since you wrote the book on romance, would you help me get ready for my date? It would be my honor. Okay, Mines has great shopping, so let's go out and buy you some things to make you a thirst trap come to life. That sounds dangerous. I'm in. Meet me at the gangplank in 10 minutes. I'm going to get my going out fanny pack. This is going to be one special day. I'll see you in two shakes of a calico's tail. Dan, top me off? Already doing it. I heard running club was canceled. Is the captain okay? No, I'm afraid something terrible has happened. Is he sick? Does he need me to take over for the rest of the trip? I'm ready. It's worse. He has a date! What? It's not a date. Hookup seemed gauche. Were you here the entire time, sir? I'm the captain. I'm everywhere. I'll just be showing a few passengers around the Heidelberg Castle. Really? That's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm taking 26. How many are you taking? One. And how many bottles of wine are you taking with you? Oh, two. Captain's got a day. Captain's got a day. Captain's got a day. Do we have to see the Gutenberg printing press? Can't we just beeline to where Adeline gave birth in secret to the twins? That were also bees? Hey, Candace, can I borrow you for a minute? I saw the log of people who boarded last night. Where is he? Where's who? Jeffrey, your husband. Is he sleeping off a sex stupor? Should I bring him some juice to get his strength back up? Something like that. What do you mean? We're getting a divorce. Oh, no. Is that what your next book is about? Because if that happens to Adeline and Abelard, I don't think I can take it. Want to retry that response? Yes, please. Take two. I am so sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling. Do you need anything? Did I hear there's a brig on this ship? Why is everyone interested in this silly brig? What? No, it's just what we call the crew quarters. Let's go. Steve Gutenberg waits for no one. Steve Gutenberg? Now I'm excited. I loved his reading of the Gutenberg Bible. He's really got a voice for audio. Okay, so how many girdles do girls wear nowadays? Two or four? How many dates have you had since your husband died? Didn't need any. I live vicariously through Adeline and Abelard. Now where can I get some lederhosen? Oh, honey.
Okay, Lisa, I think you're gonna love this little shop. Guten Tag! Can I eat an elfin? Maybe we should find a store that speaks English. Oh, hush. Hello, my friend here is going on a date and she needs some new clothes. Or a new fanny pack, I'm not fussy. How do I look? Is his crew neck too low? You can't wear that. You've got to show off your assets, your beautiful face, your amazing cheekbones. Who are we kidding? He's a dude. It's all about the boobs. Both of them? Oh, wow. Who knew my hair could look this good? Just wait until we do the hair on your head. Wow, look at me. I haven't looked this good since Ross went through his makeover phase. Thank you, Candace. Happy to help. Okay, tell me honestly. What do you think? Am I ready for my first date since fanny packs were cool the first time? You are officially in dating shape. Go and get him. Oh, wait, one last thing. Excuse me, shop girl. Do you have any high heels that also accommodate orthotics? Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Wow, you look lovely. Thanks. Candace took me shopping. It's all German and way too tight. Hmm. So, are you ready to go? I think so. I haven't been on one of these for a while. A ship? How long were you in town? Don't tease. <laughs> it's okay. I haven't either. I bet we can figure it out. If we can't, I can call us a ride back to the ship. I just figured out what lift is. Well, hold on to your hat, because I'm about to show you a lift that will blow your mind. And also because it's a little windy outside. I've never ridden on a train that goes up a cliff before. The Heidelberger Bergbaum Funicular Railway is one of the oldest in Europe and one of the safest. Ugh, usually. Exit, please. Watch your step. Where are we going again? The Heidelberg Castle. It dates back to the early 1200s and has been hit by lightning twice. Like my cousin Denise. She just loves swimming during a storm. Oh, wow. Look at that view. I can see how this would be like flying to Adeline. She must have felt so free. Well, just wait until we get to the actual castle. A.K.A. Das Sexschloss. I can't believe it. It's an actual castle in the clouds. The Heidelberg Castle is one of my favorite places. Up here, I feel like I'm the king of the world. Like in Titanic. Mm, never say Titanic to a ship captain. Look at that turret. <gasps> and that bird's nest. Wow. I've never seen that before. I guess things are better with a second pair of eyes. I brought my readers and my blue blockers. <laughs> You're adorable. Lisa, I... Oh, uh, look, is that an actual German person over there? I need to ask them if they know Angela Merkel. Jeffrey, I brought your favorite German food. Beer and 19 different kinds of sausage. Thank you. How are you feeling? Tired. It's been a long journey to find you. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were avoiding me. Me? Never. Hey, look that way so I can run real fast the other direction, would you? You've been hiding on this boat for three months. And before that, it was six months on the book tour and six weeks on the movie. In my defense, that is an extremely tight shooting schedule. Candace. I know. I'm sorry. I can be home more often. But even when you are home, you're with Adeline and Abelard now. To be fair, you're the one who wanted us to get golden doodles and name them that. I told you they were too high maintenance. I miss us. At least the way we used to be. When we were young and falling in love and our world could have been anything. From up here, it feels like anything is possible. Hmm. When I looked at you, mein Liebling, 
I saw you with my heart. You're quoting chapter 23. Mm-hmm. Would you mind if I kissed you? The rock face is falling. Ah! Lisa! Candace, I love you. I love your big dreams and your big hopes and your big boobs. I told Lisa it was all about the boobs. It really is. But I don't want my life to be so big anymore. I mean, except for the big boobs. They really are great. I get it, but this is what my life is. It doesn't have to be. It's what pays for the vineyard, and that was your dream. I gave you your dream, and now you're leaving me. I said I wanted to be able to afford classy wine, not make it. That does make more sense. I'd rather be penniless with you than own a whole kingdom without you. That is such a great line. I need to write that down. You're proving my point. You can't separate, which is why we have to. No, Jeffrey, please, I don't want to say goodbye. You have to. Hold on, Lisa. Don't let go. It's over for me. Tell my cats I love them. And my kids. I've got you, Lisa. Don't let go. Now? Do you mean you want to go steady? I mean, please don't fall. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, didn't mean to presume. Lisa, look at me. Your eyes are so beautiful. The last thing I'll see before I die. Oh, Lisa, focus. On the count of three, I'm going to hoist you up. I'll need you to push off that rock. Got it? Okay. Okay. I can do this. Ready? Fatty pack engaged. One, two, three. (laughs) You did it. You saved me. You really are my Abelard. Come here, Adeline. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. You've been listening to Upper River by Oral Stories, written and directed by Danielle Evenson and Heather Huntington, produced by Camille Johnson, executive produced by Inia Fong. Characters were brought to life by Denise Moses, Laura House, D. Elliot Woods, Mega Nabe, John Luce, Andy Enninger, Lauren Blumenfeld, Toby Windham, Daryl Deegan, Jay Pichardo, and Heather Huntington. Music composed by John Ruder. Sound design and editing by Alexa Rivalcaba and recorded at Shane Salk Productions in Hollywood. Like and subscribe on your favorite podcast app or visit us at oralstories.com. Check out Bonnie Screws Up and Fast Track to 40, also from Oral Stories.